Good morning. This is Ralph Bremer, website.net. Uh, check it out. And uh, today I want to share something that's important to pastors and ministries out there, and even to people who are like people. Um, you know, you often hear uh, pastors, the road is a bit bumpy here, you often hear pastors giving an altar call and they feel as though they did a good job if there's a lot of people at the altar that are weeping and crying. But, you know, the thing is, you can come to the altar and give your heart to God and weep and cry from the message you just heard, but if you don't come away with a life-changing revelation of Jesus Christ, who He is and what He's done for you, it's not going to do you no good. You're going to walk away the same person. If you go to the altar to get saved, you you need to hear you need to hear revelation knowledge of who you are in Jesus and what He's done for you. You need to walk. You need to learn to walk in His presence and His power. So it's really important that when you minister to people, when you give an altar call, whether it's for salvation or repentance. Um, that you're not leaving the people walk away with the feeling of I repented, you know, I'm good now, uh, or I'm really sorry for what I did. You want them to walk away with more than that. You want them to walk away with saying, hey, I can go home and apply this to me. I can go home and, and change because of what Jesus did. You want them always to walk away from the altar empowered with the knowledge of God because uh, faith comes from hearing and hearing the words of Jesus. Uh, if you look up in the original content, in the original language, it says faith comes from hearing Jesus. Uh, not from hearing God or from hearing rules of the Old Testament, but from hearing Jesus. So, always make sure that they walk away from the altar empowered with the Word of God. And my name is Rob Bremer, and you can check out uh, my website at robbremer.net. Have a blessed day.